Yo, what's up, guys? Keep me chill here, and welcome to something I haven't done on the channel yet, and that is a tier list video. Like I said, I've never done a tier list, and I figure let's do a tier list because if you guys don't know, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is officially three years old today. As I'm recording this, December 7th, 28th. Teen, that was when Super Smash, Bros. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate came out, and today is December 7th, 2021. So it's been officially three years since Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has been released. And I, words cannot express of how good this game was. I've mentioned so many times, and the fact that Super Smash Bros. has reached this point is beyond crazy. The amount of fighters they released, the amount of characters they added, the amount of returning they, they've put, and the fact that we have... So many new characters now added to the game, and some fan favorites, some unexpected ones, and some just overall cool choices. But at the same time, there are some choices that sometimes Nintendo messed up on. And obviously, we're going to be doing this. This is the tier list of Fighter Pass 1 only. I'm not going to do every single character because that's going to take a while. It's going to take like an hour. So, I'm just going to do Fire Pass 1 and 2 only. And, yeah. Happy 3 years, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, and, let's just get started. So, here we go. We have, obviously, the tier list. We have the S rank, which is basically the best tier, obviously. And then, the D and then it goes all the way down to the D tier, which is lowest. I'm going to be ranking these based off of based off the, the reveal trailers and probably overall like how i feel about the character and how the community feels so it's kind of basically kind of based off the reveal and yeah let's get started so the first one we have is jokers from fire pass one now i was going to do prime plant but i figure i'll do joker first since joker was obviously the first character in the first fire pass and i gotta say i was impressed um, Joker is pretty cool, and I didn't know much about Persona Five, so I don't know much about Persona Five as much care as much people do. But people, I remember seeing like reactions to the game awards, and people were, were really unexpected that Joker from Persona Five was in was coming to Smash Bros. And overall, his gameplay is like really good. I I like the Arsene, and overall, he's pretty cool. He's an unexpected character, and I don't know how people. people feel feel about him right now but i think he's pretty cool so overall i think i'm gonna put him at the a tier i feel like he's cool but i feel like there's other reveals that were better than joker he was the first one so i'll give him props and it they did a really good job honestly now the second character that they really they reveal for fire, fire pass one was hero from dragon quest and i remember, I remember a lot of people were like it's Eh, it's another swordsman, so it's kind of like weird that we have another swordsman in the game. And honestly, I can't blame him. Dragon Quest, I remember I saw the reveal trailer, and I think I saw ever since I saw his shield, I was thinking, oh, is this gonna be a uh, persona or is this gonna be Dragon Quest? And it was. So, um, so yeah. And overall, like the hero, what the hero's cool, I would say. And overall, yeah, overall the hero was interesting. Like Dragon Quest as a game is pretty like cool, and the fact that we have a Dragon Quest character is pretty cool. I remember from, uh, from Sakurai's like interview, he was gonna add slime into the game, but people. But he wanted to ask if Hero was a good option, and they they accepted him. But I don't know another swordsman in the game. I don't know. He it was just I don't know. I like the command selection of his attacks to be wrong, but I feel like it's just like another swordsman in my opinion. So overall, Drive Quest is cool, but I don't know. He he's okay. I'm gonna put him up to C tier. Alright, and the next character we got is Banjo-Kazooie. Now, this one is obviously a no-brainer. A lot of people really love Banjo-Kazooie. He's a really fan favorite. He's been in so many requests of Smash. And he would probably... I think, I think before Sora, he was like... In my opinion, I think he was like the top 
person that people wanted at this Smash Bros. list, and I can't blame him. I never played Banjo Kazooie and Nintendo 64, so I don't know as much like nostalgic I was getting from people, but a lot of people seem really excited. A lot of people seem really hyped, and I was really hyped too when I saw uh, Kazooie's Wings because I remember I got so excited, even though I never played Banjo Kazooie. I was just so happy that he finally got into the game, and the fact that he finally is a character is beyond cool. And overall, Banjo Kazooie is really cool. I'm so happy they got him in Smash. All right, the next character we got is Terry from yeah Fire Pass One. And overall, I like this. I really love the reveal trailer they gave for him because uh, the reveal trailer kind of made it look like nostalgic. His his game is based off the Neo Geo, and I like the whole like art feel he had. It had like the it had like retro red. It had a, like a retro feel, and overall, the design of Re Terry's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a fighting fighting character, but it's at least a fighting game that's pretty cool. It's based off of um, what is it? <sighs> Fail Fury, I think it's called. And overall, I liked it. I just the tra reveal trailer alone, I loved it. And overall, Terry is pretty cool, man. I really like Terry. All right, next character I think we got is a Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I'm pretty sure I think I know where everyone's. I know I'm gonna put this. Bylus is cool. Don't get me wrong. And I I kind of agree with people. A lot of people really didn't like Bylus only because it was another Fire Emblem character. And even before Fire Pass Two, this was like the last Fighter Pass character. So a lot of people were expecting like, oh, is this gonna be like a big character? Are we gonna get Dante? Are we gonna get Crash? And when they showed Byleth, a lot of people were so salty. I remember I saw the trailer and I was just dying of laughter because I just could have imagined what people thought of. And of course, people thought that Byleth was just straight trash. And honestly, I can't blame him. The reveal trailer is cool, but I just, overall, the community wise, I, I like Fire Emblem. But A, I feel like we have a lot of characters based off Fire Emblem. And two, it's just an okay sort of character. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not into Fire Emblem like that. So yeah, we got Fire Pass one done. Let's move on to Fire Pass two. So the first one we got is uh, Min Min arms herself from Arms, and I can't lie, I like this trailer a lot. This this trailer was pretty cool. Min Min as a self, as like herself, she was pretty cool. But, I don't know, I, she's kind of in the middle, I have to say, because, don't get me wrong, Min Min is a cool fighter, but I feel like they could have gone with, like, someone better from ARMS. I'm trying to think, like, who can have been better. I can see Ribbon Girl being in, but she's, like, a, uh, she has, like, a costume. And I guess it kind of counts, I'm not sure. Re uh, Spring Man's assist trophy, so he kind of is in the game already. And they could they could add Midjara. That would have been cool, or Twinto, or Helix, or even I'm surprised uh, Doctor Coil from um, Arms. I I was thinking her she might be like the good option, or even Springtron. But they went with Min Min, which I can understand honestly. Like Ramen makes sense, pretty cool. But overall, I th I think I put him to B tier. Min Min is probably one of the most middle characters. I like her, but. I just feel like they could have gone with someone better, if you kind of get what I mean. But overall, Minmin's cool. I just feel like they should there's someone better than her right, that should have gone in. But maybe it's just me. Alright, next one we got is Steve from Minecraft. And this one was probably one of the most unexpected ones. I remember I saw this, and my mind was just blown. Like, I was not expecting Steve. Because a lot of you were like, oh, Steve, Steve should have been, like, a sword fighter. Or Steve is just such a joke character, and honestly, I can't blame them. Steve, as, as a character alone, I was just like, I just didn't see him as a fighter. But then, here we are now, him as a fighter, you can play as, like, him, Alex, Zombie, and an Enderman. Like, what? <laughs> and honestly, yeah, I got, I think he, along with Banjo, he should go in an S tier. This is probably the most unexpected character that I've seen in Smash Ultimate. 
and I it was just nuts. I I think Steve deserves that here. He's really his attacks are really good. Also, I love I love his attacks, and I'm I'm really cool with Steve, man. He he's such a fun character, and the, and his reveal trailer was so cool. It was so unexpected. I love him. He's cool. And the next character we got is Sephiroth from Final Fantasy, and honestly, I might put him in A tier. He's really cool. I'm glad that they final. They, I'm glad that they had another Final Fantasy character. As the only Final Fantasy character we have is Cloud, and he came from I think Wii U, and that was like the only Final Fantasy character we got. There was only like two songs from him, and I was, I'm surprised. They added a, finally another Final Fantasy character. Final Fantasy character. So, I think I might put him A. I I remember a lot of people were protect was shocked that Mario got killed in quotations. But if anything, the sword just hit his uh, overalls. But I think his his reveal trailer was so sick, and I can't lie, it was pretty cool. So I have to give it an A. He's really cool of a character. Sephiroth's cool, and honestly, I think he's pretty cool. Alright, um, the next character we got is Pyra Mithra. I put, I put two, I just put them both as an image, because they, they're kind of, kind of the same a little bit, but just di kind of different a little bit, but overall Pyra Mithra, I have to give it to the B, honestly. Pyra Mithra are pretty cool. I, 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 Sok I think after my heart, Sakura is like a big fan of Xenoblade, so I kind of understand why they added uh, these two. And it's kind of funny because people like memeing, a lot, memeing around as Sakurai in Terry's reveal. I think a character was going to get added as a cameo, but due to the sort of age rating of uh, Smash Ultimate, they had to just n not cut her. And he was kind of joking around. Sakurai was kind of joking around saying, "Smash Bros. is for good boys and girls." <laughs> I guess now, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, overall, I like these two. I like playing as them. They're really fun. I can't lie. They're really fun to play, and overall, they're, they're pretty cool. I like how Rex kind of jokes around as he was saying he thought he was going to be in Smash, but hey, you got, hey, you got, hey, you got these two. <laughs> what can I say? And it's cool that he, that Rex is a cameo as, like, as, like, a taunt in a Final Smash, so that, that's, that's pretty cool. And overall, Pyramids are pretty cool, man. Really cool characters. Next one we got is Kazuya from um, what was it? I forgot Tekken. Tekken, and overall he's he's also I was gonna put him in A, but I don't know much about Tekken as I'm I kind of I don't know I just feel like Terry's reveal was a little bit better only because it was like I like the whole art pixel sort of trailer they gave him and he was just like. I think from what I remember, he throws a lot of people off the cliff and he gets, like, even more powerful. And it was cool, but I feel like Terry's reveal is a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, I, I know a little bit about Tekken, just a little bit, but I just, he he's cool. That's all I say. He's cool, but I feel like Terry's is a little bit better. And then we got Sora, another character I think who deserves the S tier. I don't know how many times to explain. I made a, I think I made a video based off Sora, of why like Smash was such a good game and why Sora is like a really good character they chose. And Sora is so much fun. He is so much fun to play. Even like the reveal trailer was so, 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 so good. I love the ending where he shook Mario's hand and it was just, I when I when I saw that I I felt it. It was. It was nice. I, I I love Sora, man. Sora is so much fun, and a lot of people. I remember I saw a lot of reactions of Sora. A lot of people were were crying. A lot of people were happy, and I I can't blame them honestly. Sora was, what probably another popular pick, and the fact that Square Enix and I think even Disney allowed him to be in the game is just mind blowing. I and Sora's another S tier, no no cap. <laughs> And overall, this is my uh, tier list. S for Ban S goes for Banjo Kazooie, Steve, and Sora. A Joker, Terry, and Sephiroth. B Mimim, Pyramithra, Kazuya. 
C Hero at D Violet. So let me know you guys' thoughts. Do you guys agree with this? Do you guys don't? And if if you disagree with this, that's okay. Let me know who you guys would have put in in your tier list. But this is my opinion. This is why I chose. And overall, I'm happy with it. Smash Ultimate is such a good game, and these five these characters got added, and I'm so proud of them. One by one, I still respect all, every single one of them, and I can and Overall, Smash Bros. Ultimate is really fun, and I'll, and I'll still play it to this day. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you guys like this, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know, do you guys want to see more tier list videos? Because I kind of like these. These are kind of fun to make. And if you guys like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.